Scriptures That Lead to Healing with comments by Dan Downey. When Yahushua saw the great multitude, he felt compassion for them, and he healed their sick. He healed them all, whether they were believers or non-believers. So even if you're not a Christian, these words of healing are for you. God loves you too. When I was recovering from major surgery, I found a website, http slash slash www.savedhealed.com where I found this amazing set of scriptures put together by Dan Downey. They were better than any medicine I could have found. Healing from an operation takes more time. You can have an instant miracle of healing, but not if the doctor has cut you. That takes time. These scriptures can speed up the healing process. They did for me. I replaced the generic word God after the name that Abraham knew for God, El Shaddai. Jesus' Hebrew name was Yahoshua. So when I cast out sickness, I say, I bind you by the authority of El Shaddai through his son Yahoshua. Leave my body and do not return. Amen. I need to say a word about covenants. Covenant means an agreement. An agreement between El Shaddai and human beings. Abraham made a covenant with God and Jesus, Yahoshua, made a covenant with God. Now, the one is called the Old Covenant. It's found in the Old Testament. The one is called the New Covenant. It's found in the New Testament. The Old Covenant was given to Abraham and all those who followed him, followed his faith. As if they sinned, sickness would come to them. If they were faithful and behaved, they would have health and prosperity. Now, the New Covenant is not based on obedience and disobedience. It's based on God's love. So the New Covenant is better and the New Covenant promises health and healing. So there is something required if you're a non-believer. You really need to believe that there is a God that can heal you and that He loves you. That He wants to bring you into His family and adopt you as a child. And on the Judgment Day, He wants to bring you into His house to live with Him in His heavenly kingdom and transform you into a spirit. He wants to transform you into a spirit. You're a human, but you will become a spirit like an angel. Now, there is a sample prayer that you can say. You don't have to say that. You can still be healed through these scriptures, but if you would like to really get right with the Father in heaven, try this sample prayer. Father, El Shaddai, please send your son, Yahashua, to baptize me. Amen. Now read these scriptures every day, ignoring your symptoms until your healing matches these words. That wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Note, the word wait in this verse implies a positive action of hope based on knowing that the word of El Shaddai is a true fact and that it will soon come to pass, waiting with earnest expectation. Psalm 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but El Shaddai delivers him out of them all. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health unto you. I will heal you of your wounds, says El Shaddai. Isaiah 53, 4. Surely by his stripes we are healed. Note the last part of this verse. By his stripes we are healed. It's not talking about spiritual healing, but definite physical healing. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring you health and cure, I will cure you, and reveal unto you the abundance of shalom and truth. Shalom means wholeness, health, peace, harmony, prosperity. 
Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, this is Mark 11, 24, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. This surely includes healing. Isaiah 58, 8, thy light shall break forth as the morning and thy health shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy rear guard. Psalm 41, 3, the Lord will sustain, refresh, and strengthen you on your bed. El Shaddai will turn, change, and transform your illness. It is always his will to turn, change, and transform our mourning into dancing. Psalm 30, 11. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. The very God of Shalom sanctify you wholly, completely. And I pray your whole breath and life and body be preserved blameless, sound, complete, and intact unto the coming of our great man, Yehoshua, the Christ. Note, it is very clear in this passage that wholeness, wellness, and health is for the complete makeup of humans, spiritual, mental, and physical. Psalm 103, 2. Bless El Shaddai, O my life, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Note, it doesn't say some, it says all your diseases. Third John 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your life prospers. Jeremiah 17, 14, Heal me, O Shaddai, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Note, once a person finally understands that healing is a part of the finished work of grace along with salvation, then you can get excited about this verse, saying, You did it, El Shaddai. You did it for me. Then, according to this verse, I will agree and say, I will have healing just as I have salvation. It's mine now. First Thessalonians 5, 8, 10 But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For El Shaddai did not appoint us to wrath, the curse, but to obtain salvation through our great man, Yehoshua the Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him and share in his life. Note, the curse does not belong to us. We were not appointed to it. We are appointed to the blessing, which is the life of Christ given to us. The word salvation always implies healing, mending, health, as well as deliverance. Don't miss this great truth of El Shaddai. He wants you to obtain healing both now and in the glorious completeness of it when we go to be with him. Use your authority and resist fear. Matthew 18, 18. Verily I say unto you, that whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Note, the word bind means to forbid. The word loose means to let go or to allow to go free. Do not allow sickness, pain, or disease to run free in your body. Bind it. Forbid it to stay. You cannot stay there any longer because of your rights as a believer. Put your foot down. Command it to leave in the name of Yahushua. John 10.10 10. The thief, Satan, does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I, Yehoshua, have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 54.17 no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in the judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage, the birthright of the children of El Shaddai, and their righteousness is from me, says El Shaddai. Notes, sickness is judging you falsely. It's your birthright to live in hell. So condemn sickness with the word of El Shaddai. Command it to leave your body. Psalm 
For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven did El Shaddai behold the earth, to hear the sighing and groaning of the prisoner, to loose those who are appointed to death. Note, if you are a believer, then you are not appointed to death, but unto life in Christ Yahshua. The word tells us that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Take hold of and insist upon your covenant rights of freedom today. In Yahushua's name, command the devil, sickness, disease, pain, and suffering to go in Yahushua's name. You have another appointment in him, and that appointment is supernatural, overflowing, and abundant life in Christ, our chief shepherd. You may feel like a prisoner because of your circumstances, but rejoice because El Shaddai's will is to loose you from it. Begin to praise him for it. You are an overcomer to Yahushua the Christ. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. 1 John 5.4 says, For whatsoever is born of El Shaddai overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Note, in John 17.14, Yeshua states that, as we, that we as believers are not of the world. Sickness, disease, and failure belong to the world. As a believer, we are given the right to overcome that which comes against us by holding fast to the word of El Shaddai. While we do not deny that the problem or circumstances exist, we do, however, deny it the right to stay through our faith in El Shaddai and his word. Know this, faith in El Shaddai is victory all of the time. Romans 8.31 What shall we say then of these things? If El Shaddai be for us, who can be against us? 1 John 4.17 Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. Note, not only can we have boldness in the day of judgment, but we can have boldness now in this life in the face of adversity, knowing who we are in Christ, knowing what belongs to us in him, and tenaciously holding on to it refusing what the enemy wants us to have. As this verse says so clearly, as he is, so are we in this world. Think about that for a moment. How is he now? He's not sick. He's not deceased. Can't touch him. We are his body, the body of Christ. Insist on having the blessing of El Shaddai manifested in you. Praise him for it now. First Corinthians 6.15 Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? He who is joined to Yahshua is one spirit with him. Note, I can't say it any clearer than this verse. We are one with Yahoshua the Christ now. Sickness has no right in him, so it has no legal right to us. It is illegal and off limits. It has no right to stay. Take a firm stand and run off the attack and the lies of the enemy. You belong to the great man Yahoshua. Command sickness, disease to leave and insist on your covenant rights now. And don't quit until it changes and becomes just as the word says it should be. 2 Peter 1, 3 and 4 As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Note, notice the past tense use of has. Has given us all things that pertain to life. The blessing of health belongs to you now. Notice the importance of the word El Shaddai. The precious promises, your healing must be rooted steadfastly on the word, not on what you see or how you feel. Also, did you take note of the fact that we are partakers of his divine nature? I guarantee you that his nature is total health and well-being expected. 1 Corinthians 1, 9. El Shaddai is faithful. He is faithful to his covenant word and to his covenant people. He is faithful to you. He said, I will forgive their iniquities. I will remember their sins no more. Jeremiah 31, 31. The new covenant is not based on our behavior, but on El Shaddai's behavior. His behavior is mercy, forgiveness, love, healing. 
Genesis 1.28, and El Shaddai blessed them. And El Shaddai said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. You have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Note, the red blood cells of your body already obey this verse as they are being multiplied and replenished. Look at the rest of what El Shaddai said to mankind. Subdue and have dominion over every living thing. Wow! That includes cancer, bacteria, parasites, viruses, and all microorganisms that cause sickness and disease. He gave the blessing. He gave the command. He gave you the right. Now do it. Put your foot down on sickness and disease and command it to go. It has no right to stay. You are a child of El Shaddai. Don't put up with it another minute. Subdue and take dominion. Here's a sample prayer. Cancer, bacteria, parasites, viruses, and all microorganisms that are bad and cause sickness and disease. I have dominion over you and I command you to leave my body right now through the authority given to me by El Shaddai, through his son, Yahushua, the great man, our Savior and Messiah. Amen. Colossians 1.13 He, El Shaddai, has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his Son of Love. No, to be conveyed is to be transferred, removed out of one and placed into another. The power of darkness, which includes the curse, no longer has a hold on us, as we are now members of a different kingdom, the kingdom of El Shaddai, which is the kingdom of life. There is no sickness and no disease in the kingdom of El Shaddai. Proverbs 3, 7 Do not be wise in your own eyes. Reverence El Shaddai and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Exodus 23, 25 so you shall serve, worship El Shaddai, your God, and he will bless your bread and your water and take away sickness from the midst of you. Psalm 91, 9. Because you have made El Shaddai your refuge, even the Most High, your habitation, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. Malachi 4, 2, and 3. But unto you that fear and reverence and worship my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings O El Shaddai my God I cried unto you and you have healed me Psalm 107 19 then they cry unto El Shaddai in their troubles and he saves and heals them out of their distresses he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions Matthew 7 8 ask and it shall be given to you Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. 2 Corinthians 1.20 For all the promises of El Shaddai in him are yes, and in him amen to the glory of El Shaddai. Psalm 35.27 let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, Let El Shaddai be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, say El Shaddai, thoughts of shalom, and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Luke 12.32 Fear not, little flock. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Note, along with the kingdom come all the kingdom blessings and benefits. Realize that it gives El Shaddai pleasure to give to you. After all, he is a giver. He is love and love gives. So cast off fear and put a smile on your face. You are rich in him. Just receive it. Psalm 121.7 El Shaddai shall preserve and keep you from all evil. He shall preserve your life. El Shaddai shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Notice, he said he would keep or preserve you from all evil. This surely includes sickness and disease. The word for preserve means to guard, to keep, to hedge about, to protect, 
to attend to. Praise the Lord. His will is to do this now and forevermore. Begin to thank him and praise him for it. Hebrews 13.20 Now may the God of Shalom, who is the author and giver of Shalom, who brought again from among the dead your master Yahushua, the shepherd of the sheep, by the everlasting covenant, strengthen, complete, perfect, and make you what you ought to be, and equip you with every good that you may carry out his will, while he himself works in you and accomplishes that which is pleasing in his sight, to Yahushua the Messiah, to whom be the glory forever and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. So be it. That is his will. Rise up and believe it, receive it, and act upon it. Psalm 68, 19. Blessed be El Shaddai, who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. Psalm 119, 50. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. Proverbs 4.20 My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them. And health, medicine to all their flesh. Note, here it is as plain as it can be. The taking of El Shaddai's word is life and medicine to your flesh. So just don't take your prescribed natural medicine alone. Add the word of El Shaddai along with it. Prescribed medicine can heal and help some things, but El Shaddai's medicine can heal all. John 8.32 And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Note, the word of El Shaddai is truth. Once you know the truth concerning healing in El Shaddai's redemptive plan, then you can begin to exercise faith and expect the promise of El Shaddai to manifest in you. Jeremiah 23.29 is not my word like fire, says El Shaddai, and like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces? Note, get this fact down deep in your heart. The word of El Shaddai is an all-consuming fire that will melt away and burn off that which is not of El Shaddai, and a powerful crushing force to break apart even the toughest and most stubborn circumstances. Continue taking the hammer of El Shaddai's word daily Continue to hit the situation in your life until those things give way and become exactly as the word says they should be. Persistence breaks down resistance. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of El Shaddai and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. That the man of El Shaddai the man, the woman, the child may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Note, does your body or mind need correction? El Shaddai's word is just the medicine. If you abide in me, John 15, 7, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done. Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Note, El Shaddai's word on healing will accomplish healing in you. Jeremiah 1.12 I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. Joshua 21.45 not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken. All came to pass. Note how much more sure is this promise to us since our covenant with El Shaddai is based on his promise and guarantee in the new covenant. El Shaddai is holding nothing back from us. Surely healing is included. For the gifts and calling of El Shaddai are irrevocable. Note, he's the giver of gifts, and he doesn't take them back. They cannot be canceled out. Philippians 2.13 For it is El Shaddai who works in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Matthew 11.28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden and overburdened, and I will cause you rest. I will ease and relieve and refresh your life. Take the focus off the circumstances and begin praising him for all that he has done for you. 
As a child of El Shaddai, you are highly favored by El Shaddai. He's given it all to you. Spend time each day just loving El Shaddai. Come to him through intimate worship and experience his rest. Deuteronomy 29.29 29. The secret things belong to El Shaddai, our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. Deuteronomy 29.29 29. The secret things belong to El Shaddai, our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. Note, every scripture on this page is declaring your revealed covenant right. Dig in and take hold of it by faith and refuse to let go of your birthright. Isaiah 33:24. The inhabitant will not say, I am sick. The people who dwell in Zion will be forgiven their iniquity. Galatians 3:13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Verse 61 says, All sickness and all disease in the world even those not written in the book are included in the curse. So therefore, we are redeemed from all sickness, all of it. Colossians 1.13, He has delivered us from the power of darkness. Romans 8.2, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Yahushua has made me free from the law of sin and death. Note, and the effects of death and the curse. Colossians 1.13, he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Remember, there's no sickness or disease in the kingdom of El Shaddai. Here's again, it's another wonderful scripture proving your birthright of healing. 1 John 3 8 For this purpose the Son of El Shaddai was manifested that He might destroy the works of the devil. Note, there is no doubt that sickness and disease are works of the devil introduced to mankind through the fall as part of the curse. This scripture is very clear that Yahushua came to undo the works of the devil. Be assured that he accomplished his task further, proof that sickness and disease have no legal right to remain in your body as a child of El Shaddai commanded to go in Yahushua's name. 2 Corinthians 3.17 Now El Shaddai is a spirit, and where he is, there is liberty. John 8.36 Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Note, the Greek thought here is not just free, but undeniably and unquestionably free. The Amplified Version says, So, if the Son liberates you, then you are really and unquestionably free. Let this truth of victory soak down deep into your heart and dispel all thoughts of doubt and fear. Praise El Shaddai. Sickness and disease have no right to be in us. They cannot stay. They have to go. Shout it out. I'm a free person. Hebrews 12, 12. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Note. For he is faithful that promised. 1 John 5, 14. Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever he asks, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Hebrews 10.35 Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of El Shaddai, you may receive the promise. Long life belongs to you. Don't give up. Base your faith on the promises of El Shaddai. Genesis 6.3 And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his day shall be 120 years. No, did you see that? That's the promise of El Shaddai, that you live a long, good life, even up to 120 years, if you so desire. Job 5.26 you shall come to the grave at a full age, as a sheaf of grain ripens in its season. Psalm 91.16 With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 118.17 I shall not die but live and declare the works of El Shaddai. 2 Corinthians 10.4 
For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through El Shaddai, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of El Shaddai, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Note, keep your focus on the promises of El Shaddai. You have to make yourself stay focused. Don't allow your mind to wander. The manifestation of your healing is on its way. This concludes our study of the scriptures on healing. I would encourage you to read them out loud, say them every day, think of them as fire and a hammer. And even though your circumstances tell you that you're sick, you keep hammering against those circumstances and tell them the word of God says I am healed. The word of God that I believe tells me I am healed. You just keep hammering and hammering until the symptoms line up with the word of God. They're the ones that have to obey the word. Amen and God bless you.